Lamborari is a car manufacturing company specializing in the luxury segment with small stylish cars. It is a mid-sized company with a remarkable history. The first Lamborari was produced more than 60 years ago. One of the main strengths of the company is the engineering division. Customers that acquire a Lamborari are very satisfied, praising how comfortable the cars are, how good the driving experience is, and how durable the product. Repairs are quite rare, compared to other automobiles from the same class. Of course, as anything in business, there is a trade-off. The cars are expensive. In recent years, Lamborari has observed a decline in their sales. Considering the great customer satisfaction, the main reason is the extremely competitive market and entrance of new players. The decreasing sales and revenue trend is concerning, and the top management organise a three-day business trip to focus on the issue and decide what to do before it's too late. Considering the issue is with sales, the responsibility falls on the sales manager, Sonia, to lead the sessions. After the brainstorming session, the management team has selected two initiatives to bring the sales back up and growing again. The first is an advertising campaign, in partnership with a leading tour agency, focused on the high-end market segment. The company organises trips to exotic destinations such as the Maldives, Seychelles, Caribbean Sea and South America, offering a five-star experience. As you can imagine, most of the customers are wealthy, which fits into Lamborari's target groups, a good place to work on the marketing to expand sales. The second initiative is to build a showroom in a trendy area of New York City where the company can organise exhibitions of the new models that are to be released in late 2020. There, the company would showcase state-of-the-art automotive technology, wrapped in a captivating design. The goal is to present this to the end customer in an interactive and engaging way. The showroom will be equipped with the latest visualisation technology, including an augmented reality application which will allow the users to experience the cars in a completely new and appealing way. It's October 2019, and Sonia, as key responsible, starts working on initiating the strategic projects. For a few weeks, they go through a feasibility study, estimating the high-level budget needed and reviewing the key risks. Finally, the project charter is created and presented to the CEO. Everything looks good, and the CEO approves the project to go forward. Sonia is named project sponsor. Great. The most important thing for the sales manager is to identify who can lead the projects, especially the second one. The company has been doing various advertisement campaigns, but never something like the showroom. On the way back home, while driving her red Lamborari, Sonia thinks of the last few projects and remembers there was a young and very motivated business analyst from the finance department who excelled on all project activities assigned to her. She even led a project work stream independently and reached a great result. What was her name? Ah, Ray. First thing the next morning, Sonia goes to have a quick chat with Ray. She explains the project that is about to start and asks if she would potentially be interested in taking the role of project manager. Ray can't believe it. She always wanted to manage projects. She has participated in various ones, but never as a project manager. That was the reaction Sonia expected. To formalise the assignment, an approval from Ray's manager will be needed. They are, however, on vacation, returning next week. In order to best use the time, Sonia suggests that Ray look through the project information and draft some ideas on how she would execute the project. 
Ray keeps her fingers crossed that her manager will approve. It is such a great career opportunity. She decides to make the most of the next few days and focuses on the tasks until the end of the week. Sonia has sent her the project charter with a business case and other supporting materials attached. Ray decides to go through the objective and main activities listed in the scope. Exciting idea. Showroom. Cars. Fancy gadgets. The showroom is supposed to engage the potential buyers by showing them a completely new perspective of interacting with the shiny new Lamborghinis. In addition to all the cars on display, visitors will be able to play around with the Lamborghinis brand new augmented reality app running on tablets available on location. The app would use the device's cameras to automatically detect the new car models when pointed at them and would give the possibility to change the colour, rims and body type of the car, or to see the engine in x-ray mode and even to design their own custom exterior paintwork. And all of this in real time. As a follow-up, customers would be able to take home any customised model they create by simply entering their email address into the application. This, in turn, gives Lamborghini a natural sales entry point to reach more potential users. Ray thinks, I will try to imagine how to execute the project. Okay, it's October now. The opening is planned for next August. Sounds like plenty of time. Let's see the activities. Ray goes one by one, drawing on her notebook as she thinks. Car manufacturing. Okay, that should not be very difficult. We are a car company. One or two months must be enough. Developing the AR application. Hmm. I have participated in the website upgrade last year. We did fancy things. But it was not very easy. We had to coordinate various experts, marketing, sales, web developers, and finally the management to approve, but I think I know how to work in such an environment. Hmm, wait a second. I know the montaging of visual effects systems in the exhibition spaces will take quite some time. And they need to be montaged somewhere right? So the showroom must be constructed before the vendor can deploy and test the new system. That complicates the work. When will the construction be ready? Oh, did I say construction? Yikes. That's right, we need to execute construction. She is struck with complete fear. I have no experience with that. It's something that requires engineers and architects. I don't have any engineering background. Wait a second. That's even worse. Ten months to August? I remember my friend's family moved to a new building. The construction took more than two years. How can we do it in ten months? Oh, it will actually be less because we have no construction company hired yet. Oh, I don't think I'm the person for this project. I lack this knowledge and it seems impossible to me. Ray continues. Staff hiring. About ten employees need to be recruited to run the showroom. I have never interviewed anyone. How can I manage that? I'm not qualified. I'm so disappointed. I really wanted to become a project manager, but I don't have the needed expertise. Construction? HR? Oh. She becomes sad. And the following day, she meets with Sonia. Sonia brings great news with her. Ray's manager has agreed to allocate her for the next ten months to take on the project. However, Ray isn't reacting as Sonia would expect. She seems sad. Sonia asks, what's wrong? Ray explains that with great regret she cannot be a project manager for this project. She explains what she analysed and that she clearly lacks engineering skills, HR skills and so on. Sonia then does the strangest thing. She laughs and says, You are very wrong. You will be the project manager and you have the needed skills. Ray is simultaneously confused, surprised and slightly happier. But how? 
Sonia continues. Well, the role of project manager is to be able to manage any type of work with the help of experts in each field. Do you think the construction engineer can manage HR and software visual effects pieces? Or the HR expert managing the construction? A good project manager has to learn quickly and adapt, but be an expert in only one thing. Project management. Ray is still confused. Sonia asks, Do you have software development background? Ray answers, No, I graduated in business administration. Nevertheless, you managed the website upgrade workstream last year and did pretty well, Sonia exclaims. Ray admits, Well, yes, I learned many things. It went well. Of course it went well, Sonia smiles. You demonstrated you're a quick learner, very motivated and a great collaborator. You helped the different experts work together to achieve the common goal. And that's what you will do now. The long-gone feeling of self-confidence starts coming back to Ray. But still, construction is so new. She asks Sonia for some more information. Sonia explains that a vendor has already been selected. Ray will need to get in touch and agree the starting date. Ray asks, But is it possible, at all, to create a building from scratch in less than 10 months? My friends bought a new apartment. Sonia interrupts. This is a good concern of yours, Ray. It shows you are doing a feasibility check. I have done this as a project sponsor. As we are building a one-storey building, the vendor confirmed this can be created on time, but you will need to work on the exact details with their representative. Ray lets out a sigh of relief. (sighs) Okay, that seems better now. And with recruitment, I guess I would seek the HR department for help. Sonia nods approvingly. As for the cars, I'm not worried at all, it should be fine. Sonia's face drops to a serious one. Uh, what? Ray puzzles. Ray, don't underestimate that. There are six cars to be manufactured, and these are brand new models. With new features and designs, anything could go wrong. Let me forward an email to you on that topic. We had a session to agree the specifics with the head of manufacturing and the marketing manager. These notes will be useful to you. Ray gets a bit stressed again. Sonia is right. How could she have overlooked that? Sonia smiles again. Ray, don't worry. I know there are many questions and your experience with projects is limited, but I will not let you go into this adventure unprepared. I have subscribed you to the 365 Project Management course. It will start from zero and slowly walk you through all the things a project manager has to do in any project. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Sonia. This is exactly what I need to learn the fundamentals and connect it with the experience I have so far. No problems, Sonia says. Good luck with the preparation and I'll see you at the kickoff meeting. Ray again is baffled. What is a kickoff and when is it taking place? Sonia smiles once more. You will have to answer that question, dear project manager. Ray takes a deep breath. Okay, I must keep the dark side of my thoughts away and stay positive. Let's start learning about project management. And now... Let's join Ray and start learning the very best practices in project management to see what the most common errors are and how to eliminate them. See you there. 